Hey everybody, it's Miss Eileen Speaks, and I'm here for another episode of the Miss Eileen Speaks podcast. In case you didn't know, I am a confessed Twitter addict, and Hootsuite happens to be my Twitter app of choice. Well, there's some new features at Hootsuite, and I just want to go through some of them for you so you can see why I like it so much. One of the things that I'm always impressed with about Hootsuite is the fact that you can schedule tweets. Now you can do this with a lot of other Twitter clients as well. I'm recording a Hootsuite podcast. So I can look at the time now and see if I want to send it today, tomorrow. You go with the calendar and pick the date you want to send it. But that's old news. I'm going to go. I'm going to send that one now. We have columns that we can view when we're in Hootsuite. And you can customize these columns to be anything you want. The columns I have here is a Twitter list that I have, which is called my Hootsuite group. These are my sent tweets. These are any of my mentions. And this is my home feed, which is. Just saying the same thing you'd see if you were at the Twitter homepage. But something new that they've added, I have an additional tab. And on that tab, I have a whole new set of columns. I can rearrange these, but right now, I have my mentions again, my direct messages, and here's pending tweets. This is a tweet I just scheduled. And if I had more, they would all be listed there. So let's see what this Featured tab is. There's two columns. Featured Users, and I'm assuming that this is a list that Hootsuite has created because I didn't create this list. And you see there's Mashable, the White House, BET, a few choice users that they decided to put into the featured users list. Then also there's the Hootsuite Twitter account. So you can follow them and see what's going on with them. Here's another feature up here which is saving messages as a draft. I have a draft that says I'm not sure if I want to send this tweet. I think I'll get rid of that. You can attach pictures, you can attach documents to your tweets. Another feature I wanted to show you before we end is the stats. You can go into your individual messages and from there when you see the message that you want to track, you click on view stats and you can see the date that you sent the tweet and in this case there were 22 clicks well that's it for today thanks so much and I'll see you next time on the Miss Eileen Speaks podcast peace